Hey everyone, how's it going? John here with another Gen Energy Solar video, and uh, in this video I've got some questions for you. I've never ever claimed to know everything about everything about everything about everything, so um, I know that um, there's uh, people out there who think they know everything and are going to quickly put someone else down because they don't know everything. To be perfectly honest, I did not come out of the womb uh, riding a bicycle, so uh, yeah, I am always learning and uh, so I'm uh, obviously I'm winding this brand new transformer this is an ASL 9 transformer I'm actually rewinding it we found the sweet spot we were looking for 30 volts on the primary which would give us 240 volts on the secondary so that's what we accomplished here on this ASL 9 transformer what's odd is that um, here's the the marking on the transformer ASL 9 115 230 with 36 so i had to take two full turns out of this transformer in order to get our 30 and 240 so i bumped up the secondary and i lowered the primary and um, that will give us the 30 240 that we're looking for um the 240 120 believe it or not this is actually a perfectly balanced transformer i'm actually very surprised and very thankful and I'm very impressed that uh, PowerJack is doing an exceptional job now of actually balancing their L1, L2 uh, because it used to be that it could be off as far as 8 to 10 volts. Well, they've got that nailed down. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm adding chokes to the transformer. You can see how I've got all this bundle of wire, which is going into that inverter there. So I'm going to have to do some uh, cable management here so that I don't run into a safety hazard. But that aside... Um, you can see that I've already added one choke here. Uh, this would be the negative side of the transformer, I guess you could call it. So um, this would be your um, AC negative, and then this bundle that's over here is the, of course, AC positive. But anyway, um, you could um, you could look at this, and Sid and I are kind of experimenting with the whole choke thing, adding chokes to the transformer to lower your current. As well as noise and when I had this choke on Frankenstein the transformer itself was room temperature most of the time when it was running at idle but the choke itself was really hot so my question is what exactly is causing that number two you can see that I have just half of the windings on the negative side of this transformer just half of them are through this choke now this other bundle of wire is going to get its own choke as well but I can only fit two turns in here and Sid was doing some experimenting with his own and he tried three turns and it didn't improve anything at all with the transformer. So it seems like two turns seems to be the peak and my question is why is that? Another question I have is are there any other chokes out there that can actually improve this even further um, to the point where you could uh, lower your standby and uh, your standby losses uh, with uh, a better choke maybe possibly. Um, I've seen these big blocky square chokes that you wrap around sideways and they go in like so this is a power jack provided choke obviously this is what they use but uh, and to be perfectly honest a lot of power jack um, chokes they just run it through either one time or just nothing at all they just run it right straight through and that's it or they might wrap it around once now i've got two turns on this choke and i'm about to add another choke here on this side but Another question I have is, is it going to make any difference at all? Let's see, this is one side of the transformer. Is it going to make any difference at all if I do the same thing for the other side? From my testing, and you can actually see, I actually have a total of four chokes in this AS9 transformer. I've got uh, half the windings on two chokes here on the negative side, and then I have another two chokes. You can't see, the, maybe you can see the other one down there. I've got another two chokes on the positive side running down through here so my question is does that really make any significant difference at all um so that's what we're just trying to figure out i just had some questions for you again i'm learning about transformers and so is sid i mean we're both kind of figuring all this out obviously we know the basics as far as unwinding and winding transformers and etc etc um but yeah it's just kind of um it's just foreign to us so we're trying to figure it out and we just want to this is going to be the Frankenstein 2 experiment transformer because that is going to be a Frankenstein 2, sort of. See, the other inverter that I had, Frankenstein 1, who is sitting down there resting or retiring gracefully, uh, Frankenstein 1 was a cobbled up mess 
whereas Frankenstein 2 is much more like it's going to be right out of the box. It's not going to have two LCD screens, etc. I'll get into those details later. But anyway, this is going to be our test transformer for Frankenstein 2. This is an ASL9 transformer. And so this is going to tell us, hey, can we do 10,000 watts continuous, which the AS9 transformer can. So I have high hopes for this to be able to do at least 10,000, maybe to do 12,000, maybe it'll do 15,000. I don't know. This transformer has a diameter of 11 inches, whereas the AS9 that's in there has a diameter of 9 inches. I'm hoping this will actually fit. I think it will. Um, but um, yeah, so PowerJack doesn't use the long twin main boards anymore. Um, they use uh, two short main boards sideways, and that's how they're able to fit this into the chassis. So it'll be really interesting to see if I can fit this in here. And of course, I got all this extra wiring here from unwinding. Um, I also made brand new connectors. Um, and so there's 22 strands on each side. So I actually had to kind of get creative with this i've got uh three sets of three excuse me four sets of three and i have uh two sets of two or two sets of five ten three yeah that's 22 so i've got 22 strands per side and so what i'm going to do to equalize between the two main boards is each uh, main board which only has the new 10.3 main boards which this one's a, a rarity here the new 10.3 main boards only have three spots where you can mount so i'll have one of the fives right here and then two of the threes right here and i'll do that for both sides for both main boards and that will equalize everything between the two main boards as best as possible i know it's not going to be perfect but we're doing the best. So this will be a good baseline for us to determine whether or not this transformer is going to be an adequate size for our 10K units, which I already know it is. Um, and we might even be able to market them up to, let's say, 11K or 12K, maybe even beyond that. We're not sure. But this is going to be the one and only Frankenstein 2 transformer. Um, it has been wound down to 30 volts on the primary. And uh, we've got 240 volts out almost exactly. So... Uh, yeah, I'm uh, just finishing this up, but I just had some questions about the chokes. What really makes a difference? How do you get that no load current down even further? Two turns seems to be the best that we can do, especially considering that you can't fit a third turn in there anyways, even if you wanted to. Um, so does it make a difference? Um, if we added two more chokes on this side, would that make any difference at all? Just let me know. I'm not really too concerned about right now. I'm just, uh, just asking questions because I know there's a lot of you out there who are experts in these Transformers, the Toradios in particular. So, um, thanks again for all of your support as always. And I am working hard on, uh, getting inverters out as soon as possible. Thank you very much and take care.